Team keep it clean. I love when we got great news to talk about when it comes to all Baltimore Ravens. And it started with Lamar Jackson returning to practice yesterday uh, after dealing with a sickness and missing practice the previous day with his annual sickness. But he was back and Harbaugh not only said that Lamar Jackson was back, but he was full of life. So that's always good to hear because he could have been back and might have been mopey, might have been a little slow, a little droopy or whatnot. But him being full of life, that bodes well for this Sunday. So he will be playing against those Los Angeles Rams. And, oh, that's, that's going to be a tough, tough game. But the Ravens should be able to prevail, especially because they, they do so good coming off of bye weeks. But time will tell. We look forward to that, watching that game tomorrow. Now. Uh, we got a lot more good news to talk about, but before we get into that, but I guess this is also good news too. Our friends, no, 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 our family over at powerhousewheels.com, they really trying to take care of y'all because I know people like to dress up their cars with nice rims, nice tires, nice rims and tires, and you can do that all at powerhousewheels.com. And get this, at checkout, for all orders under $1,000, you use code TKIC5 to get 5% off. Now, they say go big or go home. If you want to go big and you want to get an order over $1,000, then you can use code TKIC10 for 10% off. Now, don't try to be slick because I know I would do it. Don't try to use the 10% code for an order under $1,000. Don't, don't, don't try to do that because it ain't going to work. But go to powerhousewheels.com if you're trying to dress up your whip with some nice rims, nice tires and whatnot. You want to make it look all flashy and whatnot, make it look team, keep it clean. That's what you can do. And all the links will be down below in the description. Now, uh, we also got some more great news uh, from our Baltimore Ravens. And you know what? Not only did Lamar Jackson return to practice, but the, the, the great news started even before that day. It started a couple days before that because the Steelers, ooh, they were getting beat down by the Patriots early on. But then they started creeping back. They started creeping back, creeping back, creeping back. But then... A couple bad calls, which I know Ravens fans were looking the other way for. Uh, a couple bad calls, and then the, the Patriots making a couple good plays. They end up stopping the Steelers and winning that game. Because I, I was really thinking, I said, oh, boy, these Steelers, man, they just always find a way to hang around and end up winning it in crazy fashion. But they didn't. They didn't. It seemed like the Patriots were trying to tank that game, but the Steelers, they were like, you think you're trying to tank the game? Watch this. Uh, but, no, they did get okey-doke uh, with that, that – um, the false start call. It should have been offsides on the Patriots that would have gave the Steelers a first down and a chance to really continue to come back. But anyway, they lost, and that gave the Ravens a stronghold over the AFC North. And had a lot of Ravens fans talking and thinking, like, man, maybe they, maybe the Ravens will be resting their starters in the last game of the season. But we'll see. Ravens still got to take care of their own business, and they got a long way to go. So I ain't even thinking about them resting those starters. Now, um, it was a special day. Uh, because Josh Bynes, the three-time Baltimore Raven, he retired as a Baltimore Raven uh, officially. Um, and I saw somebody mention, they were like, oh, the last time that a Ravens linebacker announced his retirement a little bit ahead of the playoffs, y'all know what happened. So, hey, Josh Bynes, if you could bring that to the Baltimore Ravens, let's get it, my friend. Now, um, while everybody was back at practice, there was one person that was missing. And that was Mr. Odell Beckham Jr. But fear not, because Odell Beckham Jr. was just missing practice for just a regular vet day. And you know Odell Beckham Jr., he look older now. He ain't the same young chicken that he used to be over in New York and even in Cleveland. But Odell Beckham Jr. is a different Odell Beckham Jr. now. So we got to treat him differently and give him some time off to relax, to rehabilitate, to just get right. Especially because this is a big game for him. And, and like we said in previous videos, I, I really do believe that the Baltimore Ravens are going to try to make this the biggest game for Odell Beckham Jr. He's already a captain for this game, but I really do believe they are going to feed him like crazy. Not in no disrespectful way to the Rams, but because it's the Rams and he got history with the Rams, I mean, Super Bowl champion with the Rams. So it ain't no disrespect. It ain't no beef or nothing like that. But, you know, Ravens usually try to make uh, those players show out against their former team. So we'll see how that goes. Now, speaking of rest days, Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley is somebody who, throughout different points of the season, uh, he got Fridays off. But Harbaugh said, no, nah, <laughs> you ain't getting this Friday off, my friend. Uh, Ronnie Stanley was out there at practice on Friday. So Ronnie Stanley, like, oh, I was like, oh, okay, I, I, I like that. I, I really do like that. Um, and that, that's a good thing. Now, one of my guys said that uh, Ronnie Stanley had been so bad that they actually took away his rest days. And somebody else said Hobbs put Ronnie Stanley's job and check on notice. So that had Ronnie Stanley out there. Now, the reason for him being out there, hey, 
who knows what it could be. But the fact that he was out there, that was a uh, a beautiful, beautiful thing. So Ronnie Stanley, it, it can only go up from here. Um, and hopefully the time off that he had, the, the, the time off that he had from the, the just the wear and tear of the season, that rest and recuperation, rejuvenation, that is great for Ronnie. It's great for the whole team, but Ronnie Stanley especially because we know he's beat up, uh, his body is banged up. Um, so that rest can <clears throat> it can only help out. Now, speaking of Ronnie Stanley, uh, we got a couple of questions uh, from subscribers about Mr. Ronnie Stanley, and they are as follows. The first one came from my guy Mello. He said, "What's up, Engraven? Happy to see you at seventy thousand. Let's keep it going, team. Keep it clean. Yeah, let's keep it going, y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, and leave a like on the video. Cause I, I tell y'all, it goes a long way. It really does. It helps out too much. So." I appreciate y'all doing that. And he said, I hope all is well with you and your family. Uh, whenever I see people at airports wearing Ravens attire, I put them onto your page and a few others. I genuinely enjoy all the content. Hey, I appreciate you doing that. I appreciate you looking out like that, man. Because that means a lot. So thank you. Because word of mouth is huge, man. That's it's huge. So the tell a friend, the tell a friend, the tell a friend. And we can make team keep it clean, keep growing. So I appreciate that. He said, my question is more of a statement than a question. And it's aimed squarely at Ronnie Stanley. He put Ronnie Stanley in all caps, but it's kind of early in the morning. And I don't feel like yelling yet. He said, uh, this man, his body, not character, is softer than a Twinkie filling. I'm not going to be the dead horse. 2024, he needs to be traded for draft picks. Availability is the best ability. And he is about to get us severely hurt. Well, again, th th this is what I was talking about earlier. Hopefully, uh, the, the rest, the time off. That'll give us a new found Ronnie Stanley. That'll give us a fresh Ronnie Stanley, and he'll be good to go, and he'll be playing at an all-pro Ronnie Stanley level. Because, again, it's, it's there. It's there. It just got to bring it back out again. Uh, I said, this topic has been talked about a lot, and what has confused me is that no one is talking about his real replacement. This dude is on our roster, and we drafted him this past year. The next starting left tackle of the 2024 Baltimore Ravens is... Andrew Voorhees. How did y'all forget about him? This dude has been dominating since 2017 in high school in Texas. He traditionally plays right guard, but has experience across the line. Sound familiar? Voorhees is bigger than Pat McCarry, and from watching YouTube video breakdowns of his college film, uh, he has better technique. Remember, he tore his ACL and still did like 36 bench reps. That's a guy I want defending my quarterback. I don't know how much you know about him, nothing, uh, but I'm telling you, I feel more than confident moving, moving on from Stanley and letting him take the ranks while we continue to work on Daniel Falele, but... He needs playing time to get real experience. Plus, some of that money from Stanley could keep your boy PQ or Gino just saying. Love to hear your input. So, um, <clears throat> Melo with some very uh, interesting takes on Ronnie Stanley. So, he's ready to move on. Um, I, I think so much just... if it, I, I do think next year the Ravens, it, whether they move on or not, um, it, well, if they do keep Ronnie Stanley, I think... This contract will be reworked. I mean, it's, it's reworked like every year anyway. But um, it's big decisions, man. Like Ravens, the, so many big decisions. And Ronnie Stanley is one of the biggest ones that the Ravens have to make after this year. Um, because while he still does have time left on his contract, this upcoming s season is the first where they could actually move on and be straight. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. As far as Andrew Voorhees. Uh, I um, We talked about this a couple videos ago where I, I just, in a question from subscriber where I just couldn't see the Baltimore Ravens putting all of it Well, you know what? They actually have before So, you know, I take that back Because I was going to say I, I couldn't see them putting all their eggs into an Andrew Voorhees basket Because he would be coming off an of injury But they did it already They did it with David Ajabo um, and, But then when they saw it wasn't working out They are like, oh, no, 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 here, here, come here, Calvin uh, And then they did it with uh, Jawan James uh, but then with Jawan James, he got hurt very first game of the season uh, against the Jets. And that, that was it for his career, actually, at that point, because he never played again. I don't think, I don't think he was ever on the team again. So with, with uh, Voorhees, it, it is a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. But Ravens could not go into next year with him being the only guy at left tackle. If they want to give it to him, cool. But you got to have somebody else, too, um, because guys come back from injury. You, you, you expect them to be healthy, but you got to stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. Uh, next question came from my guy, Tank Bromansky, who is a Team Keep It Clean patron. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons, by the way. Uh, he said, what's up, Engraven? Quick question. I was just watching Marlon's show with Roquan as a guest. 
Uh, and apparently, and shout out to Jack Settlement too, uh, the Punchline Podcast. He said apparently Ronnie Stanley uh, was tripping over tipping a woman who makes two hundred dollars a month. Saying she deserves $5 after the other guys were going to tip her big time for literally carrying them around town on her cart. Dude is one of the wealthiest NFL players and didn't automatically want to help this person out. Hearing that story and other ones about him complaining about everything overseas from what they ate uh, to being left out of activities changed my opinion of him. Do you think it's strange he was like that or am I in fact the one tripping? Thanks man and have a great night. You, you know what? <laughs> That's tough for me to say. I, I guess I gotta listen to it myself, because um, I, I I did not listen to the, uh, the the full episode of Punchline Podcast yet. But I wonder if if it was Marlon Humphrey saying it, you think he might have been joking at all? Because Marlon do be joking. A lot. I mean, he be he be talking. He be talking his talk, but he do be joking a lot. But um, at the same time. Yeah, Marlon do be dropping some little nuggets here and there uh, on the show uh, about different stuff. And, and I, I love it. I do really appreciate that because I love hearing his point of view, not just on football. It's cool hearing about football, but I like hearing it about all this other stuff, too. Stuff that ain't even got to do with the Ravens or stuff outside of what happens on the football field. I love hearing that stuff. But um, as far as Ronnie Stanley, uh, I like, again, I, I can't say like that's that. Your personal opinion of him is, is your personal opinion of him. I, I can't tell you how to feel about Ronnie Stanley or how not to feel about Ronnie Stanley because that's and that's stuff that ain't even got nothing to do with football. That's about money. That's about tipping somebody. So I, I can't say that's completely up to you.